In this video, an Arduino library is created for the Max 7219 dot matrix display to show numbers, letters, and patterns. To learn how to program the display, please refer to my previous videos where C and assembly are used to code the module. In this video, I will focus on the creation of the library to control the display. This diagram shows the library structure. Within the Arduino Libraries folder, we create our folder for the library named max7219.matrix. Within this folder, we create the examples folder containing the examples. And also within the library folder, we create the library files, the source file, the header file, and the keywords file. Microsoft Visual Studio Code is used to create the header file, the source file, the demo sketch, and the keywords file. Within an Arduino sketch, the user of this library has access to five functions. Function initialization will initialize the Max7219 chip and also set the brightness level. It has one argument indicating the brightness level between 0 and 15. Function clear will clear the display. Function number will display a numeral between 0 and 9. Function letter will display within single quotations a, an alphabet from A to Z. And function byte will display a byte value on a selected row. Now a quick look at the demo sketch. We include our library and we use these macros to define data in, chip select and clock line pins. We declare this object to the constructor and the object will be receiving three integer values to indicate the pins of data, chip select and clock. We create this uh, array which will be used to display a smiley face on the module. Within the setup function, we initialize the module and set the brightness level to 1. Then we clear the display by turning off all of the LEDs. Using the letter function, we display the C character and then O, U, N, T, count and then we clear the display and then using this for loop we display the count from 0 to 9 using the number function. We clear the display and then using this for loop and using the byte function we sketch a smiley face on the module and then we clear the display and the process is repeated. In this next example sketch, different patterns will be displayed on the module using only the byte function. Inside the loop function, we are calling three functions. This function will fill the display. This function will give us a scrolling pixel. And this function will display random values of bytes. In a future video, a library will be created for a 8 by 32 dot matrix display to show text and numbers. Thank you for watching.